Hey, I'm Liv, and I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing an entire skincare line from the brand Salt and Reverie. So let's get on with it. I'm gonna preface this. Salt and Reverie is a surfing brand that is owned, created, developed by my sister, Alexia. I want to be totally clear about that before I get into these products. Of course, I think she's the bee's knees and I'm just super excited to share this with you. So we're South African. We're from Cape Town, South Africa. It's a surfing Mecca. She grew up by the beach. I grew up by the beach. And now she lives in San Diego, California. I'm super envious. She's been surfing there for many years and she's actually in her forties. And from what I can recall, she started learning how to surf probably early forties or in her thirties even. Like later, she'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. But it's been really amazing watching her passion develop for surfing. And especially as someone who is a more mature consumer, she's discerning. So she started this line, Sold in Reverie, and started developing surfing products that she wanted to see, which I think is absolutely amazing. So this skincare line is very much along that line, and it's the first skincare body product that she's released. It's very much along the lines of things that she wanted to see that weren't out there as much. As a side note, I will put timestamps down below and chapters in the video if you wanna to jump to any point in the video. We will be looking at five products for the entire skincare line. And we're gonna go in order of application. So one of the reasons that I'm so excited about this skincare line is not just because it's made by my sister, but also because it's directed at surfers. So these are people who are out in the sun, having salty water splashed on them, or constantly sunblock on their skin, like really their skin's being beaten up, right? So my sister made these products to address those issues. They're all about repairing the skin barrier, moisturizing, humectants, replenishment, all that sort of stuff which I desperately need. I'm not in the ocean all the time, but I am in dry Colorado, I'm a dry, dry person, and I have more mature skin, so I'm so excited for these products. Let's get into them. So first things first, we have the exfoliating face scrub. Now this scrub doesn't have any microbeads or anything like that. The whole point of this is to get rid of that grime and that sunblock, or in my case, makeup and sunscreen, because I do wear that every day now, but to get rid of that in the most gentle way possible. It uses sodium bicarbonate and jojoba esters to really gently remove all of the gunk that's built up on your skin over the day. It also has castor oil to do that as well. It contains triglycerides and fruit extracts, so it's really just a gentle cleansing removing product. I'm thrilled about this because I use the most gentle products normally. I use the La Roche-Posay hydrating facial cleanser, so I want something really gentle but really good at getting all the gunk out and off my skin. This also has vitamin E, which is nice and calming, and a bunch of fruit extracts, which I believe is where the fragrance is derived from. I'm not entirely sure though, so I'll put all the details down below to be sure. The smell is fantastic, but if you have any issue with fragrance, just be aware of that. I think it smells incredible. It's very vanilla coconut, delicious and tropical. The texture is gorgeous. It's so soft and creamy, but it has the finest exfoliating particles. It smells just phenomenal, and it feels very moisturizing on the skin, even just as an exfoliator. So now that your skin is all cleansed, we move on to the next step, which is the Fresh Tea Face Mist. I personally love to follow up my cleansing step with a toner to sort of balance my pH, get my skin ready to receive all the good products that I'm gonna put on it, and this is a fantastic option. Some of the first ingredients in this are niacinamide and aloe, which are two of my favorite skincare products. I love to have a toner with aloe in. It's extremely hydrating and very calming, especially when you've been out in the sun. Niacinamide, of course, improves skin tone and texture and is an extremely healing ingredient. There's also a bunch of fruit extracts in this, but I suddenly think that the niacinamide and the aloe make a fantastic base for starting your skincare steps, especially if you have dry skin or damaged skin or if you've been out in the sun surfing. Man, I wish I could say that. <laughs> the fresh tea face mist is very gentle. The scent is not strong at all and the mister is just perfect. A very fine mist to just Dust that moisture across your skin. On to the next step, hydrating face moisturizer. I'm so excited to use this. So I haven't tried any of these products yet. I wanted to finish all of my skincare 
and then start this whole routine all together. But I'm incredibly excited about this because it has everything that I look for. It has water, which you definitely want in a moisturizer, in my opinion. And then it's followed up by squalane and glycerin, which are humectants. So you're putting this water on your skin and then you're putting on the ingredients that help that water absorb. This also has sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant. And it has hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant. So this is, without a doubt, the kind of skincare that you need if you have dry skin or damaged skin, in my opinion. Once again, with all of these products, it seems, it says aloe and niacinamide, so we're all about repairing damage and soothing dry skin. So exciting. The moisturizer also contains vitamin C. I use a separate vitamin C product, but I won't say no to having it in my moisturizer as well. And as with the facial scrub, this has the most fantastic scent. It's different. It, it's still sort of tropical, but it's very fresh and kind of rejuvenating. The texture is like a gel cream, but it absorbs beautifully into the skin. I can only imagine that this would be just fine under makeup. This certainly seems like a daytime moisturizer, which then brings us to the nighttime moisturizer, Detox Nightwear Cream. The Detox Nightwear Cream is very similar to the daily moisturizer, but of course it's thicker, more occlusive, more about sealing in that moisture. It also has squalane and glycerin and water, so a lot of humectants. We have the sodium hyaluronate again, the niacinamide, the vitamin E, but then this also has lavender oil and peony root extract. So I'm no expert, but it seems like this is a little more about sealing in everything that you put on beforehand. The scent is gorgeous and rich and lavender. Personally, because I'm so dry, I would probably use the daily moisturizer and top it with this. I love putting on a more light gel moisturizer and then following it up with a thick occlusive, which this definitely seems to be. The night cream, as you can certainly see, is a luscious, thick cream, very occlusive feeling. And then finally, we have our soothing herbal eye gel. This thing is a whopper. This is enormous and I'm so excited. I mean, I could totally imagine you're out surfing the glare of the ocean and salt in your eyes. You need a lot of care around that soft, delicate eye area. Ooh, this is, this is good stuff. It has hyaluronic acid, shea, and botanical extracts. It of course has aloe, that's actually the second ingredient next to water. So it's all about humectant, calming, really protecting that delicate area. I personally, I'm thrilled about this. It has a complex of botanical extracts, aloe, shea, avocado, cucumber, coffee. And I love coffee and eye products because that totally diminishes the puffiness. Like, the, uh, the ordinary product that I used to use. They have a caffeine eye cream, so that's all jammed in here, along with eggplant, jojoba, turmeric, and ginger, and basil. And I personally love turmeric in skincare as well. I love turmeric in general. It's a very anti-inflammatory ingredient. And this stuff looks crazy. It looks so moisturizing and so out of this world. Like the color is crazy, but it smells very strongly of cucumber, which I actually love. Like to me, cucumber is a very calming smell. Like it makes me think of putting the like cucumber slices on my eyes and relaxing while I do my nails. I say that like it's something I do, but I envision it, okay? <laughs> so that is Salt and Reverie. This is gonna be my new skincare regime. I am more psyched than I can express. I'm super thrilled. I will put all the details down below and on the screen somewhere about Salt and Reverie if you're interested. I love what my sister has done with this brand. It's very reminiscent of a lot of the botanical influences in Cape Town, my hometown. And this whole skincare line is just the next step in it. And it's, it's so exciting. I'm so excited to use all these products. And I love that I'm gonna be using something that's designed for surfers, abused skin, skin that's been in the sun and drenched in salt and ocean spray. I feel like it's made for my skin type as well, dry, damaged skin. And if you've watched any of my other videos before, you might know that I'm very partial to tropical scents, to anything that makes me feel like the summer and like the ocean. So it kind of weirdly feels extra special that I'm using skincare products that use for surfers, like I'm absorbing it by osmosis, would that be the term? Anyways, this was super fun. I'm so thrilled that I got to share these products with you. I'm so proud of my sister for creating this incredible line and I'm just ecstatic to be able to share it with you all. On that note, if you enjoyed this video, found it fun, interesting, informative, whatever, I would love it if you 
hit subscribe down below. Let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you have to, wherever you are. I hope you're having the best day that you possibly can. Be kind to the people around you. And thanks for hanging out.